In a simple grouping system of numeration, you will have a base and you will have symbols to represent powers of that base. So, for example, let's suppose that, um, that we wanted to look at a system that had a base of 3 and the number of symbols in the system happened to be 4. We can just make up any symbols that we want to imagine this number system. And um, I'm going to use the numbers, um, let's see, we're going to use the number 1, star, circle, and triangle. Those are our four symbols that we have to work with. And each one of the four symbols represents a power of the base. So the first symbol I'm going to use to represent 3 to the 0, which we know in our number system as the number 1. In this number system, it's the number 1 as well. Um, the second symbol will be 3 to the first power, which we know as the number 3. The third symbol will be 3 squared, which we know is 9, and that's going to be a circle. And the fourth symbol will be 3 to the third power, which we know is 27. And in our system, it's going to be the triangle. So in a simple grouping system, we can use the first symbol um, to represent any number up to one less than the next symbol. In other words, we can mark two ones down, and that's going to be our number two. So let's go ahead and count. Starting at one, we have one and then two. And then the next number in our grouping sim system is going to jump up to 3. So we don't need to use uh, ones anymore. We can use a star to represent a 3. But then if we want more than 3, we're going to need to have our star and then one more. And so that would be the number 4. And then our star and two more would be the number 5. But to get the number 6, we're going to have two stars. To get the number 7, we're going to have two stars and then one more. To get the number 8, we're going to have two stars and two more. And of course, we aren't going to use three ones because to, to get the number 9. And we might think, oh, well, we're going to use three stars. But remember, three stars is 9, and we already have a symbol for 9. So this jumps right up to the, uh, the circle symbol. So that would be the number 9. and then we're going to build from there to get the numbers 10 up through um, 27. So the number 10, for example, would be a circle plus one more, 9 and 1. And we would continue in this way all the way up until we had two circles and two stars. And then um, after the two stars, we could also have two ones. And that would be the largest number that we could have um, before having to go to that third star, which then converts this portion, one more than this, would actually go to a circle again. So the next number would be um, three circles, but we can't have three circles, so that's going to jump up to a triangle. So one of the questions that you will be asked is, given a base and the number of symbols, What's the largest value that can be represented? So let's pretend for a moment that instead of having a base of three and uh, four symbols, what if we had a base of three but only three symbols? So if we had a base of three and only three symbols, then we wouldn't be able to roll over to that triangle. So if we had a base of three and our number of symbols was three, we would be done. This would be the highest value right here that we could represent. It's exactly one less than the value of the triangle. So in this case, the value of the triangle is 27, 3 to the third power, 27. And so, and this, this number is actually worth 26, one less than that. Let's confirm that. So two circles would be 2 times 9, or 18. Two stars would be 2 times 3, or 6, and then 2 times 1 is 2. So we have 18 plus 6 plus 2, which is 26. 
So if I asked you, what is the highest value that you can represent in a base three system with three symbols, one thing you could do to figure that out would be to go to three to the zero, three to the first, three squared, three cubed. We know that a fourth symbol would rep be representing 27 or three cubed. So the most we could represent with the previous symbols would be three cubed minus one equals 26. Let's try to use that same reasoning with a different scenario. You might be familiar with the Egyptian system of numeration. And in the Egyptian system of numeration, there are seven symbols. We have the stroke, heel bone, scroll, lotus flower, pointing finger, burbot fish, and astonished person. So seven symbols, and this is a base 10 system, meaning that each one of these symbols represents a power of 10. 10 to the zero, 10 to the one, 10 squared, 10 cubed, 10 to the fourth, 10 to the fifth, 10 to the sixth. So if you wanted to figure out the uh, highest value that could be represented, there's a long way and a short way. So the long way would be to imagine using the most symbols possible. Since it's a base 10 system, the most you can use of any one of the symbols is going to be nine. So um, if I actually listed out nine of the astonished persons, that would be nine times 10 to the sixth or nine million. And um, nine of the bur burbot fish, that would be nine times 10 to the fifth. So that's gonna be 900,000. And uh, nine of the pointing fingers would give us nine times 10 to the fourth or 90,000. And nine of the lotus flower would be nine times 10 to the third or 9,000. And um, nine times 10 squared, 900. Nine times 10, 90 and 9 times 1 which is going to be 9 and if you add all of these up of course you get 9,999,999 so that would be the largest value that could be represented in this system but the shortcut we just discussed was imagine for a moment that there were an eighth symbol so the eighth symbol would be actually worth 10 to the seventh power and after we used up all the other symbols nine times each, we would have to roll over to this eighth symbol. So that would be one more than 9,999,999, theoretically, right? And what is 10 to the seventh power? It's a one with seven zeros, which would in fact be 10 million. So the shortcut way of finding the largest value that can be represented in the Egyptian system would be to take 10 to the power of seven minus one. Notice that this is the base, 10, and this power here happens to be the number of symbols. And working that out, you would get 10 million minus one, which is 9,999,999. Okay, so in general, if you have a system that has n symbols, and it has a base with a value of b, then the largest value, assuming that's a simple grouping system, the largest value is going to be the base raised to the number of symbols minus one. So hopefully that'll be a nice shortcut for you if you're asked for the largest value in a simple grouping system and you're given the number of symbols and the base.